In this video, we're going to look at soldering and you're going to learn it in under five minutes. So let's begin. Find yourself some resistors or components you don't really use. And then what we're going to do is put these resistors into some kind of pref board or prototyping board like the ones I'm holding here. You'll take one leg of the resistor and push it through and then just bend that component over and make sure the other leg goes through another hole on the other side. Make sure it's going through the right way. You want these metal legs through the back where it is also on that conductive side. You can see these conductive traces. Then just spread these legs apart in that way so that it locks the component in place. And when you flip it, it won't come out. So thank you for watching our video. My name's Christine. Please like and subscribe. So now just continue through and thread through a few more resistors. Three is probably good enough. And now that they're threaded through and pressed down flat, I'm going to put them through our helping hands. Good work here. And now we'll begin soldering. So I use some flux, especially because I use lead free solder paste. If you don't have flux, don't worry about it. But if you do have some, now is where you want to use it. So you'll just place it on these conductive areas and it just helps the solder flow. So here we go. Hold your soldering tip right against both that leg of wire and that metal part of this um, breadboard or circuit board, whatever you're using, and then just tap the solder against that component. And hopefully, like you see here, it will just flow beautifully right onto that solder join. So keep going. Solder all of them through. Perfect. So then clean your solder tip, make sure to keep the tip healthy because the brass wire here will just get that extra solder off the tip and then I tin it. So now we're gonna check our connections. Always give them a little pull, make sure the connections are done well. Then taking your clippers, we're just gonna trim these ends. So usually they go ping which we don't want. Um, I do recommend wearing eye protection. I do usually cover it with my hand. I won't because it's a video, but just trim all these little leg ends. That just makes sure you have a really good connection. So trim these off when you've finished soldering your circuit. So we're tidying it up a little bit here. That's looking great. And then your board is finished. So well done with that. So a few other things we could look at is just making sure these connections work. We're gonna get our multimeter out. Conductivity test, so when they touch, it beeps. If your circuit makes a beep sound, you need to resolder. So if we touch one to the next one, there should be no beep. That's great, it means the electricity is not going through no electricity through. Perfect. So that means all of these are fine. If it bridged, and in fact, I can show you that. So let's just take um, a little bit more solder and let's just bridge these two. So if you bridge it, it basically means that the solder has gone across to where you don't want it to go. Basically, we don't want it to be in between these. So if we bridge, there we go. So we've got a bridge. Let's give it a clean. So we can see, visually, we can see that this join isn't good, but you would always do your test and we can hear this is conducting. So you know that that solder join will not work. Okay, so it's always important to visually inspect what you've done and then using your multimeter. So again, it's just on the setting where it is looking for. So it's a setting that looks like a, um, like a little Wi-Fi symbol, really. It looks like a sound symbol. That's the symbol you want on your multimeter just to check that you don't have conductivity through your traces. That can be a really easy way to find out if you've got an error. And then you can use things like solder wick to take off the excess. So that was soldering in under five minutes. Keep practicing and you'll conquer this in no time. Like and subscribe.